Welcome to Shape Up. For today, we're going to focus on a full body workout. So warm up, and then we'll go through some uh, cardio warm up. And then I've got um, a whole bunch of goodies for the main component of our training. So let's uh, begin first with uh, some squats. So we're going to squat down. So warming up the legs, coming into um, making sure that the chest comes forward. The hips come back. Let's aim for 10 of those. That's three, four, keep that going. Five, I'll just light us up here. Six, seven, eight, two more for nine and 10. All right, so next up we're going to bring the right leg behind coming into a lunge position. So lowering down, coming up for two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's change sides. So remember when you change sides, you're lowering that back knee down, keeping that chest up, bringing the gaze forward for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. All right, standing up nice and tall, we're going to focus on a three way leg swing. So, beginning first with the left side. So, coming forward and back for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll cross it over, opening that hip to the side for two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we'll bring the knee up. We're going to open it to the side for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, changing sides so over to the right side. Nice big lift up for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then crossing it over the side for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then we'll bring the knee up. We're going to open it to the side for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so now we're going to bring open up the feet. So we're going to go slightly wider than shoulder width. And then, so two ways you can do this one you can fold forward, you can stretch side to side if you can do this. If not, side to side, resting on the thighs. We're gonna aim for 10. This is a five, a six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we're gonna bring it to the center now. You're gonna walk over to the one side. You're gonna rotate up. And again, if you can't reach the floor, that's fine. You can do side to side. Bringing the palm to the outside of the thigh, rotating through that core. And this is uh, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so let's uh, let's walk into the center, and then we're gonna bring it on down to the knees today. So we're gonna work on something a little different. So you're gonna. Rotate the palms facing or the fingertips facing the kneecaps. So now if this feels a little bit too much to do both um, wrists at the same time, you can do one at a time. So rotating in and then I'm just rocking a little bit forward and back. So I'm just opening up the joint here and along the arm here in the forearm. And then you can change sides. If you uh, are doing the double one, and again, just a little rock forward and back. So not 
too much um, tension there. It tends to be a really tight area, a lot of gripping, a lot of tightness through the arms, really hard to rotate. You have to really focus on your joint mobility. It's very important in the upper body. Resting the backs of the palms onto the mat. The fingertips are facing inwards. Now you're going to bring your, your seated stance back just a little bit so that you're not resting directly over top of the wrist. So you're not driving the weight down into the wrist. You just want to lean back a little, and then you're just going to gently shift side to side, opening up the backs of the palms. So just a couple of times, maybe one might be good enough. And then now if you're doing that one, you want to change sides. If you're doing the double, just continue. All right, now bring the palms fully to the mat. You're resting now the shoulders over top of the wrist, and you're going to do elbow rotation. So I'm just moving the elbows in and out, in and out. So I'm working through the shoulders, the wrists, um, the elbow joints. So I'm just opening up those areas. And then now I'm going to do shoulder rotation. So down and back, down and back, down and back, and then up and down, up towards the ears, down. So now you're going in the opposite direction. Um, so you're bringing them forward now and back, forward, uh, sorry, forward and down, forward and down, okay? So the one way is going to be easier than the other, and then you're going to rotate in that other direction, which is going to feel a little bit more challenging. <laughs> more challenging really on the brain to try to get your body to do that. All right, so bringing the, the fingertips to the temple, we're gonna fold forward and then taking a nice stretch through the body. I'm bringing the opposite, I'm bringing the right elbow to my left thigh or knee and just folding forward. I'm thinking about rotating through the spine and the core here. So because we're going to be doing some abs and work through the midsection, this is a great little warm up for that area. All right, changing sides, fingertips to the temples, folding forward, bringing the elbow um, to the thigh or the opposite knee there, and then opening right up. So it's four, five, six, seven, one more here for eight. Okay, so what you can do now to come off the floor, you can come into that downward facing dog. If you can do that, that's great. Then you can just walk your feet forward. If not, you would come into that tabletop, then bring the one foot forward, coming into a low lunge position, and then getting yourself up. So if you started in that downward facing dog and then you come into that lunge, I want you to fold forward and gently roll yourself back up. All right, so we're gonna come standing up nice and tall, focusing on stretching the quadriceps. So bringing the heel towards the glute and then you're just gonna change sides. So you're going back and forth. You're not holding too long, you have to remember that this is a dynamic stretch, not a static stretch. If we were doing static, we'd be focusing a little bit more of the holding longer durations at the end of the program, not the beginning. All right, so one more. Good, and rest. Okay, so a little bit of the arms, rotating forward. <clears throat> And reverse. And then nice big lift to the sky. Breathing out as you lift. And then opening the chest, big hugs for yourself. All right. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some cardio warm up. So get yourselves um, some good space. You want to make sure that there's no tripping hazards um, in your area. 
I'm going to start you off with eight exercises and we're going to focus on 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. First one we're going to start off with today is going to be the quick feet side to side. Okay, so let's get ready. We're going to listen to that timer. That timer is going to uh, count us down. So starting in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Fast feet to the side to side. Abs nice and tight. And then we're to breathe. Don't hold the breath. So nice and strong, guys. Just pump that out. You have 10 seconds. Almost there. Okay, so we're gonna do four butt kicks. So we'll do the low impact or the high impact for them. And then you're gonna come into two squats. One, two. So go when you're ready, that timer went already. And then one, two. Okay, so remember low impact, no jumping. So just remember if you take the jumps out to bring it into uh, a low impact. Okay, eight seconds. Okay, so we're gonna do crisscrosses, three of those, and then two squats. Crisscross and two squats. Okay, let's keep that going nice and strong. Three crisscrosses I did there with two squats. And if you want to do two jump squats, you can do that as well to make it more of a higher impact movement. It's up to you guys. You make the decision based on your abilities. Okay, so two foot skip. So get the arms in there. So some bouncing. Now you can do faster. Okay, here we go. You can do faster to make it more intense. You can just do little bounces to make it less intense. And remember when you're doing this one, you do want to use the arms, but you also want to keep the knees soft. Okay, don't lock the knees out in those bounces. Let's keep that going, guys. Okay, so we're gonna go to four high knees. One, two, three, four. Two jumping jacks. Four high knees. Two jacks. Okay, so just remember you can do four high knees without the jumps. And you can also do the jumping jacks without the jumps. Okay, so you can, you can mishmash the two intensities or do one or the other. Okay, so 12 seconds. Okay, so forward lunges, alternating side to side. So you're just gonna keep that going. Forward and back. Forward and back. Keeping the back up nice and tall, abs are tight really to focus on pushing off through the heel of the front foot to come back. So keep it going guys. Eight seconds, almost there. Okay, forward punches on this one. We've got a little bit of a jogging on the spot. And again, if you want to bring the intensity down on that one, you can do almost like a high knee, no jumping type of intensity. And then you've got the punches in the front, okay? So you can definitely bring that down in intensity. Um, if you're ramping it up in intensity, you could be doing it faster, more intense, right? Um, so find that happy medium for yourself. Three, two, one. So 
So we'll try some pendulum swing side to side, side to side, and then to a lesser intensity, side to side, side to side, just without the jump. So side to side, <laughs> a little bit of less coordination if you're doing the no jumping. Okay. Uh, this is our last set. <clears throat> Just working it out nice and strong. Good. Okay, so let's grab a quick drink, rest up, and then we're going to move on to the next round. So we're going to do 40 seconds of work for the next round. And we'll bring you into a 20 second uh, rest period. So for the first one, what we're going to do is a knee up with a back lunge. We're going to work all one side first. Now you can choose to add in um, two dumbbells. So one can be one and one on each side, or you can do one rested at the chest. So we're going to do knee up, and then you're going to bring that leg back. So knee up, and then let bring the leg back comes to lunge. Step up, lower down. So from my side view, my knee comes up and then my leg comes back into, into that lunge position. Okay, so let's get into position. Okay, so my knee comes up, I lunge back. Knee comes up, lunge back. And then as I'm doing that lunge back, I wanna make sure that this back foot, the heel stays off the floor. So you're not pressing your heel into the floor on this one. Go up, down, you're working on the balance on that right side. So nice big lift up. So just remember to breathe out. Don't hold your breath during the exercise. And as you're doing that step back, you're keeping that chest up nice and tall. You're not leaning forward. Okay, so resting for 20 seconds. We're going to change sides. Okay, so you get a nice 20 second break in between each one. Lots of time to set yourself up. Okay, so knee drive up. Stepping back into lunge, knee drive up, stepping back into that lunge. Okay, so just remember, you wanna keep the core nice and tight as you're doing that knee drive up and then that back lunge back. Knee drive up, back lunge back, okay? So um, make sure that you don't let that core go, really focus on that that uh, stabilizing leg to, uh, to focus on the conditioning on that side. Okay, so laying on the mat, we're coming into a side plank and we're gonna focus on clamshell. So you're gonna come up, lift, open the knee and lower back down. Come up, lift, lower back down. Now if that's a little bit too much, you can rest in side plank with your upper body elevated and just do the plank or the clamshell lift. So just make sure that the feet stay connected as you lift the top knee up. And you wanna make sure that when you look down the front of your body, that the knees are in line with your hips. Okay, so you don't want them coming really forward here in that position. Okay, so you can do clamps, uh, plank, lift up, lower down. For the harder one, you can also stay up in that plank. Okay, let's change sides now. Okay, so let's get ready. <clears throat> so remember to breathe, don't hold the breath. So lift 
up, open, lower down, or open and close, keeping those feet attached. We're doing a variation of the clamshell. There are many variations with the foot positioning. Okay, so three different ways to do it on this particular exercise. So let's keep that going, guys. Okay, four seconds. All right, so laying flat on the back, we're gonna do one arm chest press up and down. My palm is facing in for this one. Big squeeze, breathing out as you lift. And then also too, if you wanna add the lower abs, you can bring the feet to the sky or you can come into bridge and do chest press, you can do multi-movements. You're activating the core, the glutes, um, and other parts of the body other than just the, um, the chest. So on the next set, we'll change sides. Okay, so here we go. So again, your choice if you want to do bridge, you want to do feet to the sky, or just rest on your back, you're going to press the, the, the dumbbell all the way up, breathing out. So it comes a little bit over the center of my chest and breathing. So let's keep it going. Turtles there, guys. We got uh, 16 seconds left. Just working it out nice and strong. All right. Okay, step into the side, lower the arms down. So coming into that side lunge, curl them back. We're going to do either a squat or a squat hop. Okay, but you're going to stay all on that one side. It's a nice big lift, squat down, or squat up, depending on your intensity. So side, nice lift, squat up, or just a regular squat, curling those arms up, and squat or squat up. So when you step to that side, you're coming into that, that side lunge position. So that knee tracks just a little bit behind the toes. I draw my arms down. And then as I come up, I curl my arms as I come back. So I got a little bit of a lean forward here. Okay, so switching sides. You have 20 seconds to rest and change. So starting with the arms up, remember to breathe. Okay, step into the side, lower down, come back, squat hop, step to the side, come back, squat hop. Okay, so lots of control in that arm, those arms as you lower down and then coming back. So just remember to breathe, don't hold the breath. You have 10 seconds. Okay, so we're gonna do one arm rotational row. So coming into a split stance, opposite arm on the palm, and we're gonna row, rotation, row, rotation. So my left arm is on my left knee, 
My right arm is doing the work. So I'm just doing a little rotation at the top here, opening up the right hand side of my body and breathing out as I pull into that row. So it's just a little rotation through my core, breathing out. Okay, so almost there, this is unilateral, so we'll change sides when this set is done. Five seconds. Okay, so my right foot comes forward, I'm resting on my right leg, and then little row rotation, little row rotation. Remember to breathe out as you lift, breathe out as you lift. So nice big lift up. Okay, so we have uh, one more set after this. So we're gonna do a sumo squat walk with a little jumps in there. Okay, so coming into sumo, my toes are pointed out. You can hold a dumbbell at the chest. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. So lots of bending, no locking it out. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so a little bit, you can be met back up nice and tall. I'm not leaning forward in that movement. Abs are nice and tight, don't let that belly go. All right, 12 seconds. Remember to breathe, don't hold the breath. Almost there. Woo, okay, so let's have a quick little break there. Grab yourselves a drink. And then I'm gonna refresh your memory as to what we started with while you're having a break. Okay, so we looked at doing um, per side, so one, Per side, we're doing the knee drive up and then the lunge backwards. Knee drive up and then the lunge backwards. So again, you can use two weights at the side, you can do one at the chest, or you can just focus on uh, the body weight. All right, get into position. And we're gonna start four, three. Two, one, knee drive up, lunge back, knee drive up, lunge back. Okay, so nice big lift up. And again, you can use your dumbbells, two at the side, one at the chest. It's entirely up to you um, or just focusing on the body weight. Okay, so after this step, we're gonna do the other side. So a lot of unilateral work in this program where you do one side, then you go to the other side. Okay, so let's go to the other side. You're resting for 20, listen for that timer in the background, because you're gonna do that knee up and then that uh, lunge back, okay? So it's getting ready. Okay, so knee up, lunge back, knee up, lunge back. Okay, so focusing on those movements. Remember, you want to keep the back up nice and tall as you lunge back. Don't lean forward in that lunge, okay? So you want to keep that center of gravity right over the belly. It's not transferring over. 
10 seconds. Okay, coming into side plank, clamshell, you can lift up, clamshell, lower down, or just regular clamshell. Or you can hold your plank at the top and do clamshell to make it harder. But you have to make sure that when you do that, your elbow stays rested underneath the shoulder at all times and that your body here stays nice and straight so you're not sagging down here. So you gotta keep your plank in a straight line and a big lift up. Now, if you have a hard time doing that, try the other variations first and then you build up. So breathe out when you lift that leg. Okay, let's change to the other side. Looking down my body, making sure my knees are in alignment with my hips so they're not way far forward here. That's not really gonna do much for you. Okay, so big lift up, open. Lower down, lift up, open, lower down. All right, let's keep that going nice and strong, guys. Okay, one arm, chest press, palm faces in. We're going to lower up and down, breathing out as you lift up. Breathing out as you lift. And again, too, you can add the legs in for lower abs. That means feet to go to the sky. And then you can maintain that pelvic tilt here, or you can do a bridge lift. So lifting up those hips and then still focusing on that uh, one arm chest press up and down. Okay, then we're gonna change sides on the timer. Listening for that timer. All right, resting. Okay, so here we go. Pick your uh, core if you like. It could be feet to the sky. That could be bridges. Big lift up, breathing out. So let's keep that going, guys. So almost there, pumping that out nice and strong. Okay, so stepping to the side, we're gonna lower those arms, come back, and that's gonna be a squat down or a squat hop. So back to side lunge, curl those arms, squat hop, or just a regular squat of your choice. So just remember that when you're doing that side lunge, okay, you're lengthening this leg, that foot stays on the floor, you're not rolling that foot into the lunge. You want to make sure that the knee stays behind the big toe and you're only going down as far as you can control that movement. The arms are here in front and as you come back, you're bringing the arms up and then you're doing the squat or squat hop. Okay, so 
so getting ready, we're going to take a rest. Okay, so just remember now you're switching sides. So when you do this, you come to the side, you lower those arms down, then you come back and you do the squat hop or just the regular, the regular squat. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so lowering down, coming back. Okay, so a squat hop or just a regular squat. Remember, you're using your dumbbell any size that you feel is appropriate. But if you don't want to use a dumbbell, you can go through the arm movement of that exercise. Okay, nine seconds, and we're going to go back to rotational row. Okay, so my left foot is going to come forward. My left palm is resting on my thigh, and we're going to do some rotational rows up and down. So nice big squeeze and lift, breathing out as you lift up. Okay, so here we go. So now when I'm doing that row, I'm just doing a little mini rotation through the core where I'm opening up the side of my body. So it's not just a straight up and down movement, particularly in this one. That's one type of movement. But this one here, we're doing a little bit of a rotation in the core. So we're actually rotating through the spine. You're working the spinal muscles as well as the abdominals and the upper back. Okay, so keep it going. You have five seconds and then we're going to change sides. Okay, other side. Second and last set of this round. Okay, so now my right foot is forward. My right palm is resting on my upper thigh. Okay, so nice big lift, breathing out. Okay, little rotation through that core. Okay, now if that bothers your back or that just doesn't feel good for you, you can just do the regular row up and down. Modify where necessary, but always in a correct manner. 19 seconds. Coming into a uh, sumo squat, we're going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so little, just a little walk, one, two, three, four, and then two little jumps. Okay, so you can use a weight, you can just do the body weight, and then remember the toes in this one are pointing out. So you're really you're concentrating on the heels of the feet. One, two, three, four, because you want to feel the inside thighs, and then just a little hop. Okay, so nothing too uh, big, just a little jump. And this is the last set on this round. So just remember to breathe, don't hold the breath. take a break we're going to grab a drink and then we're going to move on to something else so we have another uh group of exercises to do then hopefully we'll have some time to finish off with core and then we'll do the cool down stretch portion <laughs> Okay, so for this one, we're going to be focusing on 
Uh, seven different exercises. Some have unilateral, some are contra. So we're going to do uh, that. It's a lot of just lower body work. So it's a kind of a combination of some, a little bit of strength endurance. Um, you'll definitely feel it more, uh, more like cardio. Um, we're going to do 50. So five O seconds of work. And then we're going to do a 10 second uh, transition change explanation. So for the first exercise, we're going to be doing a lunge, but we're going to do um, alternating lunges. So I'm going to show you a couple variations. So I'm going to show you a high impact variation. I'm going to show you a low impact variation. So the low impact variation, you're going to just alternate um, forward and back, similar to what we did in the, um, the cardio portion in the beginning, where we're going uh, from uh, forward and then uh, to back. Okay, so that's your lower impact variation. Your higher impact variation is going to be more of an explosive movement and a jump switch. Okay, so if you can do it, great. If you can't, don't, don't stress about it just do the regular lunge. I always have to give the, the upper version, the middle and the lower versions. Okay, guys? All right, so let's, uh, let's get into position. So remember, you have to pace yourself through these movements. Now, if you can do the explosive movement and you can't do the full 5-0 seconds, then do um, a portion, do some explosive, some low, and maybe go back to some explosive or do explosive and then just regress to low. Okay, so forward and back. So really just focusing on the, the best form you can do. And if you have to rest somewhere in that those 50 seconds, feel free to do that. We're definitely working for a longer period of time with lesser rest. So you're gonna feel it again in the cardio. Almost there, just keep it going. Don't give up. Pump it out nice and strong. Okay. Okay, so coming into squat and we're gonna do calf raises up and down. So you're holding your squat. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Okay, so statically holding that squat, you're gonna feel the burn in the quadriceps. If you need to, pop out of it for a couple seconds and then try to get right back into it. So really pushing up through those toes, you wanna feel the calves work as well. 16 seconds. Okay, so we did this one in the last one. With this time, we're alternating them. So it's a lift up, step back, change sides. Okay, so quicker movement now because we're not doing all one side. You have to change those sides. So my flow, I bring that leg right up and stepping back and then flowing forward again. So I, I'm not pausing in between each movement, but if you need to, go ahead. Okay, almost there, guys. Let's work that out. Don't give up. Regress where you need to regress. 
Okay, so jumping jack legs, touch down. Jumping jack legs are two, one touch. So to bring this variation, to change it, you can do um, jumping jack um, legs with a low variation, no jumping. So you can just do the, the touches to the side. But then you have to do that extra step out to touch down. Okay, you can also do a higher impact where you do the one, two, and then if you want to do the jump touch, you can, so you can jump and touch. So there's quite a few variations to do with that one. So just find your comfortable variation. And remember, don't touch all with that one arm. Remember to change up the arms. <laughs> Okay, so next up, we're going to squat down, heel tap. Squat down, heel tap. Okay, so keep that going. Coming up next, we're going to do a combo of four squats and four lunges, but you, I'll teach you the, the plyometric version, which is the higher impact and then the lower impact. Okay, so four of these, up and down, and then you're going to do the four um, alternating lunges side to side. Okay, so higher impact, you would do the four jumps and then the four lunges. Now just remember you can mix those intensities where you could do four regular squats, four jumping lunges, or vice versa. So you guys can mix and match the way you like. Almost there, guys. Okay, so we're going to bring it into a squat knee knocker. So knee knocking in and out. Remember 
to breathe. Don't hold the breath. So let's keep that going nice and strong, guys. We have 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Okay, so knees bent at 90, arms to the sky. We're going to do opposite arm and leg lowers. So don't get confused here. Everybody always wants to, when they move one arm, they're going to try to move the other arm with the leg. So really stay focused when you're doing this one. So keeping those abs pulled in, lower back is connected with the floor. Let's keep that going nice and strong. Okay, so feet to the sky, we're gonna do reverse curls. So pushing those feet up, lifting the lower back and glutes. So my very low part of my back comes off the mat. If I could do it, if not, do your best, but don't strain through your upper body. Everybody, people who are weak there, they tend to start straining and pushing through the upper body. The shoulders start to shrug, the chest contracts, the arms are pushing too hard into the floor. You have to keep the upper body relaxed and push up. Okay, feet to the floor. We're gonna do bridge up and down. Okay, work it out. Okay, resting on the belly, knees are bent, we're gonna do hip um, leg lifts, so drawing the soles of the feet up towards the sky. Breathe out. So you're really feeling the lower back and the glutes here. I'm not doing a, a big lift, just a little lift, enough to squeeze my glutes and make them work. So you don't want to feel tension into that lower back. Five seconds. Okay, so bringing the arms to the sky, coming into V-sit, we're going to reach back and change sides. So remember to breathe, don't hold the breath, guys. Working that out. So coming up, tapping that ankle if you can. Lift up, tap the other ankle if you can. If not, just lift up and reach. Lift up and reach, okay? So if you can't do that range of motion, maybe readjust the feet, lift up, tap that ankle, lower down. Lift up, tap the other side, lower down. So make the adjustment first. If not, just reach, 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 but don't tap. So five seconds, we have one more set left. Okay, coming into plank, and then we're gonna do some leg lifts up and down, if you can. You can also rest at the knees. You can do knee lifts up and down. All right, so let's keep that going, guys. And then we're going to stretch it out after this. Okay, so let's bring it to rest. Let's draw the soles of the feet together. So 
sitting up nice and tall, lengthening the back, lengthening the arms, and we'll gently bend the elbows, pull forward if you can. Just go as far as you can. Remember to breathe, don't hold the breath. Press away, lower down. Press away, lower down. And lifting up and extending those legs out in front. Let's reach towards the ankles, folding forward. So rounding out the upper back, really lengthening the backs of the legs, draw the big toes in towards the shins. Remember to breathe. All right, let's just walk it back up. All right, so laying flat on your back, we're gonna stretch the hamstrings, extend the leg up, interlocking the fingers behind and below your knee. Draw the big toe into the shin. Make sure to breathe, don't hold the breath. And change sides. And other side. And the other side. And rest. Okay, come to a seated position. <clears throat> We're going to take the uh, right leg, bring it over your left. We're going to gently bend that left knee, stretching out the glutes. And then uh, switch sides. Good, and then relax. We'll come to an easy seat. So find an easy seated position for yourself. I like to rest on the knees. A lot of people can't do that. So come to resting on the glutes, legs out in front, legs crossed, whatever uh, works best for you. Big lift up, interlock those fingers together, big push to the sky, maybe reach to the left and to the right. Come back to center, bring the arms around. Now you're going to interlock your fingers um, behind your back, just like this, palms together. You're opening the chest, maybe lower the chin to the chest, opening up the neck. And then we're going to bring the palms to the front. You're going to cross them over, interlock them. Now I'm rolling my shoulders forward and I'm opening up the back, dropping the chin to the chest. Remember to breathe, don't hold the breath. And relax, and elbows, rolling them out, rolling them in. And wrists, rolling them out, rolling them in. All right, guys, good work today. I hope you enjoyed the program. I will see you again soon. Take care, have a great day. Bye for now.